Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to show you something that I've had a lot of fun building in Kerbal Space Program. This is a functional Juan de la Sierra style auto gyro or gyrocopter. Pardon while it loads a moment. It's a little uh... It doesn't like all these uh, B9 procedural wing pieces. Why can't I control the camera today? Anyway, so first impression is probably going to be this looks like you crossed an airplane with a helicopter. It's kind of what it is. Your first auto gyros designed by Juan de la Sierra in the 1920s and 30s uh, looked very much like this without the reaction wheels, of course. Uh, open cockpit and, and normal little control surfaces instead of later rotor pitching mechanisms, which I still have not been able to make in an effective manner. Uh, the only mod that's required for this is the Infernal Robotics docking washer and these pivotrons. Uh, if there's interest, I'll make a video on how to make this and maybe some more rambling about how it functions, but uh, what you see here is a combination of Airplane Plus, like for the engine and these fuselage pieces. Um, a couple of wing pieces too, like this tip and Elevon Zero. You got B9 procedural wings. Now, you don't have to use B9 wings. I just did that for visual consistency. You can use resized normal wing pieces and it'll work just fine. Uh, what else? Airplane Plus. Oh yeah, tweak scale, because I needed these bigger landing gear, smaller girder. Or actually I made that normal size again. But the girder adapter is uh resized. As well as some other things I forget. I've also got the Barnstormer cockpit. Now an auto gyro, if you've never seen one is basically like if you crossed a helicopter with a windmill. Instead of the rotor being powered and having a tail rotor or something for stability or contra-rotating rotors, uh, what you've got is uh, the engine pulls it through the air, which causes one side of the rotor to get extra drag, which pushes it in a circle. And as it comes back around, it's flat with the airstream, producing more lift. Uh, I can ramble more about that later. For now, we've got these little separatrons in order to start us off. They're at like 2.5% thrust. Gonna take his helmet off. Chase cam, full throttle, SAS. So, once I jettison these separatrons, this will be effectively unpowered. Powered only by them. This is just to get it spinning because it doesn't like to cooperate with you if it's uh, if you're trying to start it spinning by moving by just moving. It's not heavy at all. And here we go. We're up in the air. This thing is a lot of fun to fly. Goodbye, Separatrons. You will not be missed. Um, it's not the most cooperative craft in terms of control. Like, it's it's pretty maneuverable, but uh, without SAS, it very quickly gets out of hand. And it's got a constant no nose-down attitude, um, even with reaction wheels and control surfaces and SAS, it's just not happy. Uh, so, I think it's having some disagreements with KSP's physics engine. I've already had various headaches with it. But, Finally, I've made it usable, and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, if you can kind of maintain some speed, it climbs at a decent rate. Um, level flight, it'll do about 50 to 60 meters per second. You can go faster, and I could put a more powerful engine on this, but the problem is it's really not going to be happy with you at those speeds. Uh, the rotors are going to 
greatly tend to just spaz out and probably fall apart on you. If they don't fall apart or fly off, then what they're probably going to do is they'll do kind of like an umbrella when it catches too much wind and fold upwards and you fall straight out of the sky. Which is one reason I like having these control surfaces instead of a rotor pitching mechanism. Because if KSP freaks out and destroys the rotor, or it folds in on itself, you still have a chance of landing it, especially with these comically oversized landing gear. But, let me demonstrate one of the niftier things I can do. Let's do a vertical landing. Now, it's mainly able to maintain this attitude because of the reaction wheels. In real life, you'd be able to do this with the rotor pitching mechanism, but I don't have that. So I've had to compensate with uh, cheat magic. Don't! Oh man, not again. Well, I'm just gonna roll with it. I really should make that a little bit taller or something. I think I could afford to do that, but I'm lazy. Uh, it doesn't seem much worse for wear though. When realistically, if this got unbalanced like that and had a strike, you'd uh, you'd do well to be alive right now. So, KSP's pretty forgiving, again. But, I'm going to try to barnstorm our MD over there as a further demonstration. But yeah, uh, so long as this is spinning and windmilling, you can basically do whatever you want with this thing. It flies really slow and leisurely. You can't stall it. It's just a dream to fly. Well, am I going to be able to do this? Oh, that was close. I think that's the first time I've actually been barnstormed that with anything. So, there it is. The De La Sierra Gyrocopter.